Hello everybody, my name is Craig Bennett, and today I am going to get into a video on how to make your old Android phone into a voice over IP phone, a uh, voice over internet protocol or VoIP. And as far as that goes, I want to mention real quick in this Q&A video that if you do not have the ability to get Google Voice, then um, it, which is the free service and everything, but if you don't have that ability, then this video won't help you. So see you next video or check out my thousand other videos. But I want to mention something real quick before we head off. The thing I want to mention real quick that's very, very important is simply you need to know that you can use a voice over IP application or some solution, but you need to trust that company. Here's the thing. And this is what a lot of people don't understand is if I'm going out of way and I'm buying a ring or if I'm buying an actual physical item like a ring or that, that's one thing. That physical item's there. And uh, if I'm looking for exact quality, then that might be different, but I just want it to work and, and be what it is. Great. But if it's a service like voice over IP, um, VPN, or something around that point, I need to know what the laws are. But if a company over in Iran screwed me over personally, and I can take, or I feel I can take legal action against them, well, here's the thing. <laughs> I ran normally by my, if it happened within our country, they might be all over it. But because I'm a United States citizen, they might not like the country and all that stuff. It's going to be what's called in limbo. Or they're going to flat out say, no, nah, ain't down with it. Especially, especially if it's in many of the countries, the off, off in countries that are controlled by warlords. And that's, that's just a major thing that you got to understand is if the comp uh, company is in some odd country, even though their laws dictate that you're not supposed to do these things, nothing's going to happen to them if their country and your country is not good. Like if, if, the, if it's bad blood, so to speak. But say, for example, if, it, if the company is in Israel, the United States pretty much always had a good atmosphere with Israel. It's been good all around. And hopefully that continues. Well, the thing is, is I can actually prosecute someone in Israel for screwing me over um, because of the laws and, and because of everything's good. You know, everybody wants to keep up the good deals, keep, keep up the trade and all that stuff. So you don't want to tick off anyone and make an international scene. So that's a big thing because of the companies outside of your country. Then you need to note that. Um, and that's an unfortunate thing, but that's the reality for, for technology. But what happens if it's inside your country? Well, you need to know certain laws that, that, that you have the ability to, to deal with. And, and keep in mind, like with that Israel statement, by the way, if I did something that, that screwed them over and, you know, laws and whatever, they can actually come after me. So it's a two-way streak. It's not, not just where I can go after them. But let's say that uh, someone in, in the United States, they made a company, they did uh, something that went against what's called wiretapping laws. I can actually go after them and prosecute them and actually sue the living crap out of them or shut down their company or, or do severe damages. And that's the major thing. And if I really wanted to, I can actually get, without spending one dime, I can, because taxes, because, you know, everybody pays taxes, go to the state level and have the state itself fight for me. So that's a major thing. That's, that's a major thing you got to realize. But you got to also realize, uh, if you can't trust a company, how do you know they're not tapping your lines and whatever? So let's go into the actual question of the day. It basically just says that, how do you make voice over IP phones? But again, go to your Google Voice accounts again. If, if you don't have one, again, I'll have a card up on the top right or a link down in the bottom in the description. So check out that and, um, and, and that'll take you to a video that will give you a step-by-step -step on how to make a Google Voice number, which by the way, again, is free. I recommend it for everybody to do it. But um, what you can do is go into the settings and go into where it says Ford calls. Make sure the Google chat is checked. And if, um, and, and, and if you're doing it where it's for yourself, then great. But if, if you're doing it, say, for example, 
um, like like an example where you are giving a phone to your kid to see if they're responsible enough and yeah 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 well have them have their own google voice account remember um this stuff it all it all gets sent to your email and clog up your stuff you you can actually um add another number so you can actually forward their text messages to you so you can see if they're doing some shady stuff in case you don't trust them yet because you know it's good and whatever but um what you can do is just give them the account itself altogether and that way you can have your own google voice account on top of that because remember you can only have one google voice account per per google account but um if, if it's yours uh just uncheck all these if you want but make sure that the google chat itself is checked so from here, what you need to do is go to your phone and download Google Voice. I'll have links to all these. Google Voice and install that. Go to your hang, Hangouts, install that if that's not already on your phone. And pick a voice over IP. And what I'll recommend to do is, again, know what area of the world they're at, but know if they have any restrictions as far as 30 minutes a day. I would use something like this. I'm just going to like this one because it's an old but well known. Uh, but um, basically what you want to do is use a Google Voice for regular SMS uh, text messages stuff. And that will give you also your voicemail on a visual basis when people call it that number. Hangouts that um, will be used for the picture messages, video, video messages, sound, stuff like that. Basically, anything that you attach to anything will go through Hangouts. And um, the talk tone, basically use that for actual phone call. So you call through that and you send text messages through the other two. It's, it's a little complex system, but, you know, it, it is what it is. And uh, you kind of have to deal with the car here dealt with now again there's plenty of other voice over ip services that are out there check where there are check the prices check the limitations because some of them only have like 10 messages a month some ridiculous limits to them but what i'm giving you is basically unlimited everything just downline you just need a free internet make sure it's connected to wi-fi google accounts and all that stuff and Good to go. But anyways, as far as that goes, if you got any questions on this, anything else, then please feel free to let me know in the comment section, and I'll try to answer as quickly as possible. Also, let me know what you want future videos to be on, and what you want me to review, unbox, and whatnot. But please check out my Patreon, and I'll see you next video. Hope you have a great day.